The Mississippi River, this is also incredible, has hit historic low levels due to the current Water drought. levels continue to drop across the mighty Mississippi River Up in the and United down States. the Mississippi River Basin, below average rainfall. Mississippi River is at historically low levels, which could impact the food supply and our wallets. The Mississippi River is thought to be the third longest river system in the world. But in recent years, it shrank to levels unseen, clogging shipping lanes and putting drinking water supplies in danger. So today, we'll be exploring the mystery behind the bizarre phenomenon. According to size and ecodiversity, the Mississippi River is one of the major river systems in the world. It's also a commercial waterway for the entire world. The Mississippi River begins at Lake Itasca and travels about 2,350 miles to the center of the American continent before emptying into the Gulf of Mexico. Although the Mississippi River is the second longest in North America, its frame and size can't help but escape the drought that has started to ravage its banks. In fact, the Mississippi River's strategic and economic significance was so great that the Confederacy suffered greatly when Ulysses S. Grant won the Siege of Vicksburg and took control of the river during the American Civil War. According to the U.S. Drown Monitor, a significant portion of the region surrounding the Mississippi River is enduring conditions that range from abnormally dry to severe drought, which are thought to be sparked by the severity of climate change. The Mississippi still plays an important role in the transportation of cargo. A warning has been issued for Plake Mines Parish, a neighborhood south of New Orleans, that the drinking water supply for up to 3,000 residents may contain salt water because the river has shrunk to levels unseen in decades obstructing shipping channels and putting drinking water supplies in danger. Officials in the region are worried that this could pose a health risk, particularly to locals who already battle with chronic diseases like high blood pressure. Because of water from the Gulf of Mexico flooding the river, salt water has gotten into the community's water supply. Because the river's water levels are so low, it's running more slowly than usual, making it harder to keep salt water out of the New Orleans metropolitan area's municipal drinking water supply. Industrial water users like oil refineries that depend on fresh water from the Mississippi are also at risk from the intrusion of saline water. Since the Mississippi River was dredged significantly deeper for navigation, the salt water was able to rush in more quickly. Experts worry that this problem may become more frequent, especially in light of the effects of climate change. Many people are also concerned about the manure and fertilizer buildup on farts. Communities are moving away from the Mississippi River to find alternative sources of drinking water. The Mississippi River recreation scene has also changed as a result of the drought. Locals in Missouri have access to a riverbed that is now partially exposed by walking along into a rock formation called Tower Rock. This riverbed is now at risk of washing off in a heavy downpour, lowering oxygen levels in rivers and streams, and endangering aquatic life in a few rare cases. A few Tennessee marinas have boats laying in a few inches of murky water because the water levels there are so low, according to reports. By the beginning of August, more than half of the country has been experiencing drought conditions, and on a global scale, droughts are becoming increasingly severe. Due to climate change and human activity, rainfall amounts have been below average nearly everywhere along the Mississippi River, from Minnesota to the river's mouth in Louisiana. This has caused the river's water levels to drop to almost record low levels and slow down barge and ship traffic, which is required for transporting recently harvested agricultural products like soybeans and maize down the river for export like we do. According to Jonathan Remo, an associate professor at Southern Illinois University's School of Earth Systems and Sustainability, the first group believes that this is simply a case of biblical prophecies coming true while the other group claims that the current drought affecting the central United States is likely a short-term weather event, despite scientists' claims that climate change is raising temperatures and making droughts more frequent and severe. It's unclear how long-term climate change will affect the Mississippi River, but it's likely that the cycle of the river's droughts could vary, according to some researchers. For example, a drought in Quicken could affect the river every 5 to 10 years rather than every 10 to 15, there is concern that the end of the world may be near, despite some people enjoying the challenge of putting the puzzle together. As biblical prophecies come to pass, predict or battle that the drought follows the destructive drought. Even though it doesn't seem like there were any plans made for situations like this, the river may have been predicted in the Bible. The Mississippi had three different names and was crucial in Native American history. 
Some claim that this river, which separates the United States in the same way that the Nile River divided ancient Egypt, may be one of the four rivers that Genesis depicts emerging from Eden. While the western boundary makes up the remaining two-thirds, it formed the eastern border of the United States. Cotton and flax were important crops in Memphis, one of ancient Egypt's capital towns, which was south of the Nile's geographic center. The Isaiah 19 drought completely destroyed the paper and fishing industries in Memphis, two important sectors in this city. Memphis is a city south of the geographic center of the Mississippi River. It was once famed for its paper and cotton industries. There were five great cities along the Nile River's course that are still standing today, Memphis, Theros, Luxor, Alexandria, and Cairo. Memphis, Tennessee, Theros, Kentucky, Luxor, Arkansas, Alexandria, Egypt, and Louisiana, the city of Alexandria, which lies near the delta of the Nile River and also appears to be the Mississippi River, is located in Illinois, one of the states through which the Mississippi flows. No matter what the cause, the effects of the drought are being felt in around 60% of the Midwestern and Northern Great Plains states, and local economies are suffering as a result of the lack of rain. This is despite the fact that many nearby cities do in fact bear the names of important global capitals. More than half of all U.S. grain exports are transported by the river. But figures from the industry used by the government show that the drought has caused a nearly 45% reduction in the flow of products. A drained products like cereals, cement, and petroleum that flow through New Orleans on the way to the Gulf of Mexico could experience supply chain disruptions as a result of Mississippi. As if the thought of impending doom isn't terrifying enough, it's been reported that barges are hauling far less cargo as they struggle to keep afloat in the shallow water. However, many people are forced to wait for the water to get deeper because they have no other option, and this is harming farmers in the Midwest. Inflation and rising food and product prices will also be the ripple effects of this devastation, according to experts. Conversely, the decreased water levels have made previously inaccessible locations more visible, which is good news for farmers who are trying to sell their wheat, soybeans, and corn abroad. The retreating waters near Baton Rouge recently led to the discovery of a ferry that likely sank in the late 1800s or early 1900s, and a resident of Cahoma County, Missouri, discovered what might have been human bones. Although there is a chance for rain soon, experts warn that in central states like Missouri, below average rainfall is expected in November, which would prolong shipping problems on the river. They also say that if caused by global warming, the world may have to deal with this problem on a global scale for a very long time. Let us know what you think about the drying river. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons. You should also subscribe to the channel and click the bell symbol to be notified whenever a new video is released if you think that biblical prophecies are finally coming to pass or that climate change needs to be given greater attention.